Good morning. I'm Alex Barrios. I'm the Assistant Director for Construction for the Miami-Dade County Department of uh, Transportation and Public Works. I oversee transit and roadway infrastructure construction for the department. Um, here I'm here to present on the South Dade Transway Project. It's the first BRT project that we have here in Miami-Dade County. It stems um, from Dadeland South Metro Rail Station all the way to the Terminus Station at 344th Street. It runs the existing uh, corridor that we have and it is bus rapid transit. Basics on the project, the, it's bus rapid transit, the length is 20 miles. We have 32 existing stations which are being rehabbed, which we call the local stops. We have 14 new iconic stations that look like this, and we'll have some photos of them in a minute, um, where, the, but where we'll be having left-hand boarding and central platform boarding, and I'll get into those details. We're also building a brand new 645 space parking garage on 168th Street Southwest that includes a BRT station incorporated into the parking garage. We will service six municipalities. Um, it was a design build methodology and we're looking to be completed and open in summer of 2024. The one, of the, it, one of the benefits of this project it is it is all electric corridor. We have 60 foot articulating new flyer buses which our director Ulis was here this morning and he spoke on that. They'll be servicing the corridor as well as all of our maintenance facilities. Maintenance um, vehicles will also be electric. Um, we will be charging at our facility that we will be breaking ground earlier, uh, later this year and the South Dade Transit Operations Center. So what are the key elements? So this is the station in construction. This is down on Marlin Road in South Dade. Uh, center platform loading. So your entire experience is meant to be like it was rail. So you come into the station through the vestibule You'll pay your fare at the station, at the fare gates. You'll walk into the air-conditioned vestibule. You'll have a comfortable seating, air conditioning. You'll be able to, there'll be screens up top that will show you bus arrival and departure times. When your bus is arriving, you're welcome to walk out to the center platform. You will then get on the bus. The bus, since you've paid your fare before, it's all door boarding, all door exits. So you're not waiting for the person in front of you to fumble, trying to find their pass to put the pass in and get through. You get on and off very quickly. It speeds up the process. Uh, gets passengers on and off. It is center, It is level boarding, so wheelchairs, individuals, it's just like a train. You, you're on the metro rail, you step onto the train, it, is, it will be level boarding within a quarter of an inch. Um, the stations have been designed for expandability. If in the future we want to either expand the number of buses that can arrive at the station, which is currently two, or install light rail or heavy rail, the stations can be expanded in one direction. Um, the opposite direction from you see here from the main building, which is the Vespio entrance, the station can grow to the uh, other side. As part of the project, we're also building a parking garage on 168th Street, a park and ride. It, it will have a, a it's five level parking garage, integrated BRT station into, into the facility, 645 parking spaces. It will have restrooms bicycle storage. It does have a kiss and ride drop-off area. It does have a local bus circulator drop-off area as well as electric vehicle charging. The cost for the parking garage is about just under $60 million, including the station. So here are some photos of the facilities under construction. As you can see, they're a interesting design. They're an arch design, metal, a hurricane rated, meant to be insulated, so when, even if you're on the platform not within the vestibule area, you, there is a significant difference in temperature. They're meant to allow the breeze to come through them but protect passengers from the rain. We, the project was funded uh, th with three different funding partners. We have FTA funding, Federal Transit Administration funding at 33%, FDOT 33%, and then a local share using PTP dollars at 33%. It will provide significant enhancement to the transit services South Dade. Um, in general, your ride will run about 40 minutes less, I'm sorry, 20 minutes less, 20, 30 minutes less from 344th Street to Dadeland if you're using the BRT Express service. So what are our operating parameters are going to be? During peak times, our headways will be about seven and a half minutes in each direction. And on the weekends and off peak, it'll be either 15 minutes or 30 minutes. So major challenges, this is always a question that comes up for us. What are the major challenges with a project this complicated? This project includes gate arms at all the intersection intersections, at the intersecting intersections. Um, the standard, the signal operating plans for those intersections, considering that we have US-1, which is next door and is a major thoroughfare, has been a, one of the most complex uh, issues to overcome as part of the project. Um, we have 46 intersections where, again, we're right next to US-1. 
Um, other issues have been IT infrastructure. With the supply chain issue, we've had issues uh, getting fiber optic cable. We ran new fiber optic up to 20 miles. Um, we're having challenges integrating cameras, the number of cameras, number of network switches, and any auxiliary equipment. It's just a lot. It's 46 intersections, uh, 46 sets of gate arms, uh, 14 stations. So you're thinking this is not just a simple project. This is 14 vertical constructions and 46 intersection improvements happening at the same time under a one project. Um, one of the delays that we're having and we're experiencing this on other projects is switch gear. So switch gear is the equipment used to provide power to the facilities. So on 168th Street, since it's a major facility, it requires extensive switch gear. And we ordered that switch gear in December of 2022. It was supposed to arrive in 60 days. It is now slated to arrive in April of 24. So we have over a year delay in, in getting the switch gear for that parking garage. So there's been a lot of questions on how the corridor will operate. Um, we both have preemption and priority for the different types of buses. There's some animations here. I'll provide three animations that'll show how the preemption works, how the priority for the buses works, and also how the facilities, um, a tour of the facilities. And before I conclude my presentation, I just want to point out that we are not the first to implement BRT, but we are the first to implement BRT with gate arms. So we have a lot of eyes watching us on how we're gonna implement this, and this, this will spread across the country. So one of the disadvantages to that is that there is no one to call to see, hey, how did you get it done? We are the ones experimenting this uh, for the first time. So if you have any questions, I'll be out in the foyer. Again, Alex Barrios, Assistant Director for DTPW.